this book is called Dear Mr. Rosenwald, The School That Hope Built by Coretta Scott King Honorary and Car Carol Boston Weatherford. Nineteen twenty one, one room school. My teacher, Miss May, said, You can't judge a school by the building. When the roof leaks, she calls us vessels of learning. When the floor creaks, she says, Knowledge is a firm foundation. Wind whistles through the walls, blowing the sheet that splits the church into two classrooms. Me on one side, Junior on the other. Till I passed four gra fourth grade, I sat beside him, counting with my fingers and fidgeting on the pew. Now I know better. My school is not much to speak of, but Mama says I'm lucky, even if class doesn't meet during harvest. Down here, she said, some black children go to school in shacks, corn cribs, or not at all. Don't know what I'd do if I couldn't go to school. Harvest break, just when I'd memorise the time tables. Instead of learning long division, I'll be working in the field. Sharecropping. Six long weeks down row after row, me and Junior worked right alongside Mama and Daddy picking cotton till our fingers bled. Finally, Daddy put the last bale on the wagon and rode to town. He said our share of the harvest should pay off the season's debt and leave money to spare. Daddy was wrong. He came home with rock candy for me and little brother, but bad news for Mama. We owe more to the white man who owns the land than we made selling the crop. Same story as last year. After supper, I leafed through an old Sears catalogue, wishing. Later, I heard Mama fretting about the baby on the way. Another mouth to feed. I hope it's a girl. Supper. Uncle Bo ate supper with us. He or she talks a lot. I reckon because he's a preacher. But that doesn't explain why he eats so much. Between helpings, he invited Mama and Daddy to a rally at a church tomorrow to drum up support for a new school. Soon as Uncle Bo said drum, Junior started rapping the table. Rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat. Mind your manners, Mama said. New school rally. Uncle Bo opened with a prayer. Then Professor James from the normal school stood in the pulpit, spoke as if he were used to people listening. Years ago, Booker T. Washington started Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. The college grew strong as an oak, but Booker T. would not seek the shade, not as long as young minds starved. Too many children, too few schools, and not nearly enough money. Julius Rosenwald, the president of Sears Roebuck, has millions, earned every penny, and believes in sharing. Booker T.'s book, up from, Booker T's book Up From Slavery, opened Mr. Rosenwald's mind. So when Booker T wanted to build schools, Mr. Rosenwald opened his wallet. After Booker T passed, Mr. Rosenwald kept building. Not just schools, but pride. Before his foundation will give a cent, you have to raise money on your own. White folks have to pitch in too. There will be one hurdle after another. Do your children deserve a new school? Everyone in the church stood clapping. How on earth will poor people find money to give away? taking root. The church deacons voted to give an acre of land for a new school, space for a building, playground and garden, land that would have been used for graves. Now a seed is sowed instead. Box party. Mama and Daddy say raising money is hard work. I say it brings folks together. Mr Benson, a black farmer, let the rest of us plant a plot of cotton on his land to sell for the new school. Other folks raised hogs and chickens to sell. Box parties were my favourite. Me and Mama baked two apple pies, put them in a box and tied it shut. Mr Tanner said he smelled cinnamon through the box, made his mouth water. He bought our box and ate a slice right away. Daddy bid on a shoe box, but Uncle Bo's bid won. Inside was a dancing doll Mr Green carved. Daddy blew a jig on his harmonica. Did that doll dance? Passing the plate. Homecoming Sunday, a church full. Uncle Bo didn't need to preach a sermon after going on about the new school. Said we're gathering money and nickel and a dime at a time. 
the ushers passed the plate. Afterwards, Uncle Bo waved envelopes white neighbours sent, twenty dollars in all. Then the choir sang, the Lord will make a way somehow. Just before the service ended, Miss Etta May asked to have a word. I was born a slave, worked hard even after freedom came, never had time for book learning. Here's a dollar from money I've been saving for my burial. Hurry and build that school so I can learn to read my Bible. Blueprints. Professor James came round to see how close we are to breaking ground. After Uncle Bo told how much money had been raised, the professor beamed. You're halfway to the goal. Then he unrolled big drawings, blueprints by a Tuskegee architect. 17 different floor plans, some with up to seven rooms. I'd get lost in a building that big. Our school will have two classrooms with a moving wall between, a room for home arts and trade.